My name's Rodney Elliott. I'm one of the owners of Drum Green Dairy here, Lake Norden, South Dakota. Uh, been in the dairy business now almost for 40 years. I started with 25 cows in the west of Ireland. I realised that my needs to expand in Ireland at that stage I was milking 140 cows was going to be a very difficult move. Started looking for other places on earth to move to and uh, came upon South Dakota which in that stage was looking for dairy farms. Uh, we moved here in 2005. We went from 140 cows in Ireland to 1,400 cows in South Dakota, but we've since expanded to probably four or five times in the last 15 years to where we are today. Uh, my wife, Dorothy, has always been a very key part of the business, being our CFO, and uh, David, the eldest, is back on the farm now for seven years uh, as our operating officer, and uh, we're here today to talk about our latest venture, which is our new 20 robot facility that we started in 2021 hoping to milk 1500 cows with 20 de Laval robots. Our reasons for going the robotic route were multiple. Uh, we thought that if we can come with a system that allows us to milk more cows per labour unit we could reduce our labour needs and we also could pay people a better rate for working because they're more efficient at producing more milk per labour unit. Uh, I think we have to embrace technology I think the future of the industry is going to be about more information for the consumer, uh, more control of where their product comes from, uh, and it's a, a good sell to our consumer that the cow actually chooses herself when and if she wants to get milk. And one of our goals is from a sustainability point of view, we can have that cow's productive life extended by the fact that she has more comfort, she's got less stress in her life, she gets to make a lot of her own decisions on what happens in her day. The day-to-day -day operations of the uh, robot barn compared to the conventional milking we do, um, it differs slightly but we ultimately treat the barns the same. The barns have the same design in terms of ventilation, a feeding, intervention with a medication, all those things are very similar. What what differs in the robot barn is the direct intervention with milking. In the conventional dairy, you have always got to directly intervene to make the cow go to the parlor. In a robotic system, you're looking to passively intervene. The cows really enjoy the environment. They come and go to the robots voluntarily uh, as they feel the need to eat. They come to these pre-sorting gates and then they are selected either for milking or back through to feed here along the feed lines. Uh, when they've had enough to feed, they go back through a system of one-way gates, back into the free stalls to lay down, get water, get brushed, and then they make the cycle again, hopefully to end up in the commitment pen three times a day getting milk. I have a good history with De Laval as a company. I trusted the, the company, it's a large company, they make good things, and that's fine, but the relationship with the people installing it is very, very important. And we met with Randy and the team of people that they put together, and we got very comfortable that these people have the, the depth of, of personnel, the quality of people that we needed to make this project work. We were fortunate enough to get to do the installation here and uh, maintaining of the robots here at Drum Goon Dairy. These large robotic installations uh, can be very challenging. No dairyman is exactly the same, so no barn is ever the same. So we need to design the barn for the dairyman. Um, the relationships uh, that, that are grown with these installations is, is, is one very fun part of my job. Um, and that relationship actually starts months or a year before the actual installation. Um, during the sales process, I think we, we need to get to know the dairyman. It, it leads into building the right barn, the right, the right design of the barn really goes into the, the, the people. And we do form an, a nice relationship during the sales process already and, and uh, continue it through the installation and the, and the maintenance all the way through. The cow comes in and she's identified by a, an electronic ID. So she was in at 9.22 yesterday evening. Each time she visits, she's milking in five minutes and 37 seconds. So we get a lot of information on the cow. The benefit of having so much data is if we can find 
the best cow to put in that, or the best way to manage that cow, or the best way to feed that cow, uh, we can make these more efficient. And without this data, if we can't measure it, how do we fix it, you know? And I do find that uh, with a younger generation of employees, they love this technology.